Hey guys and welcome back. I'm a little slow on getting this video up. We've had a few complications here this week. So we're going to be making a large double scoop ice cream cone. This one I made with a flat bottom, but if you want to get the pointed cone version, you can skip on over to 2 minutes and 59 seconds. I forgot to correct that. It's 2.51 in the tab, but it's literally at 2.59. So head on over there if that's the version you want. If not, Let's get started. Now I'm working the base of the cone. Uh, it's just a basic row uh, or round of six single crochets. The second round we're going to be increasing in each stitch. So grab a stitch marker and put it into that first stitch that you made, the first of the two increases, to help you keep track of where you are because there's a few jumps in this pattern. Hi, Barry. There are a few jumps in this pattern, so you'll, we'll get to that in the next row. To get started, we're going to be working back post single crochet all the way around in all 12 stitches. This is going to leave a bit of a detailing, and it's going to give you an absolute flat bottom to work with. Uh, my voice is a little off. Sorry for that. The girls have been sick for the last couple of weeks, so I think I caught it. <laughs> um, I worked three rows. You can maybe work four and get away with it, but I like the way three came up, too. And I just basically worked, again, front pro single crochet, increase, around, built it up. Very basic stuff, but you can pause the video, go back snap pictures if you need to and take your time making it which is why I kind of put the description there or you could head over to my website and check the tutorial now we're just going to reverse single crochet into every stitch around to make a ribbon Pause and screenshot each segment here so that you can keep track. I am also going to add a completely separate tutorial for that on my website with this cone project. So both versions will be available or are going to be available once I get them up tonight, hopefully tonight, um, on my website. And I'm just going to start working on the ice cream. You can start stuffing it too if you want. but. I'm making drips. And if you have a better way of doing this, post about it down below in the comments, please. I would love for this because this was a struggle. Okay, as you can see, I had a hard time staying focused and in frame. Uh, so I worked through basically two rows below, front post, of course, and then I just double crocheted all the way up. Right, this part I should have pulled through all three loops, and I didn't do that, and it made it kind of loose and it weird looking but I corrected it for the rest of the way around. So just make it however you feel comfortable and the way that you like it look. You like it to look. Now I did two rows and then I decreased for two rows. Sorry, <laughs> the cat is climbing on top of the table and actually moving everything. She usually doesn't do this, but she's annoying tonight. Just tuck in your tail, and I'm going to add a few more details by stitching. I didn't like the fact that it wasn't as, I guess, stiff is the word. Um, so I'm 
solidifying the stitches a little bit more and making them a little bit more refined uh, so you can see it better. You'll see the difference at the end. Now to add a new cone, I just increase the next row by two stitches, literally every stitch by two, so we had 24, and then I started again as I did with the paper. Well guys, that was it for this week's video. As you can see, me and my kitchen are a hot mess after the week we've had with the kids, uh, the girls being sick and everything. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. I did my best to get it out for you as it's 10.52. I'm in the final recording at 10.52 once the video is edited. Uh, ignore the background in my kitchen. Sorry about that. I am tired. I'm going to get onto it tomorrow. So, good night.